and welcome to your tarot love readings. We are going to take a look at the energies of your ex here and see whether he or she is uh, thinking about you or what they're thinking about during the stages of no contact. As always guys, these readings are general so please be mindful of that throughout the spread. If you are interested in a personalized tarot reading, feel free to inquire with me. I am going to list my email address just below the video here in the show more section along with all the information you will need. So Leo, let's go ahead and take a look at the messages that are coming in for you here. So the spread is intended for Leo Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. And for those of you who have dropped into Crosswatch as well. Okay, so you've got the Page of Swords here. The Star card, the Three of Swords and... Temperance. Okay, you do have a fair bit of air energy here. Air energy indicates to us uh, what well, it governs mental energy, and it does. It is. It is indicative of, um, you know, uh, our thoughts, uh, our beliefs, our attitudes here. So I can see that. I can see that your ex here is still thinking about you. Okay, so I can see that even though the two of you may not necessarily be communicating here, as indicated by the Page of Swords. Uh, there is, there's still a connection there. There's still something there, Leo. I feel like you've got strong air energy, so Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, you are definitely on their mind, but it feels like this person here is holding back communication. It feels like this person is holding um, himself or herself back from communicating with you here. It's a, it seems to be, to me, it's like a, a, it's a nervous kind of energy, okay, as if there's just too much inside. I feel like there's a lot inside, um, inside their head, and especially if there are an air sign, air signs tend to uh, lean towards, they're not very, it's not that they're not very good with emotions, it's just that they like to intellectualize their emotions, they like to understand what it is they're feeling rather than actually allow themselves to feel it. Um, so I can see that your person here, they've got a lot, there's a lot, for some reason there's a lot that's um, happening uh, uh, mentally and uh, internally with them. They are eager to communicate. I can see they are eager to communicate. Now the Three of Swords here does indicate that there was a painful ending perhaps. Um, Three of Swords is often uh, one of the strongest indication of uh, a third party situation because there are three swords that piece the one beating heart here. So there might have been you, them, and someone else. Maybe, maybe this person was dishonest to you um, about their emotions and about the fact that you know they were being um, unfaithful. Uh, maybe this person was already in a pre-existing pre relationship. Uh, during your connection or before the two of you have met here but the three of swords something he has it does denote a painful ending or it does denote you know there might have been like a third party situation which clearly has disrupted you know the equilibrium and the balance of your connection here um, they could you may have felt rejected hurt betrayed deceived lied to by your ex he by a person um, or perhaps they're also on the receiving end of this. Maybe the both of you were, it's, it kind of feels a little toxic. Maybe the both of you were unhealthy for each other. Or maybe the both of you have hurt each other in different ways. I feel like your person right now, there's a lot that they want to say. Uh, to me, it feels like they're wanting, it's like they're wanting to apologize perhaps for all of this pain, all of this hurt um, that they've caused you. I feel like they're still holding on to it though. I feel like they're still holding on to it. With the Three of Swords, this is healing. Um, and I feel like maybe this person, and especially with the Star card alongside and, and Temperance, I feel like whatever has happened between the two of you here, Leo, this person is still going through the motions. I feel like they're having a hard time. 
they're grappling with it because especially if they are an air sign as i've mentioned at the start of this spread you know air signs don't they don't particularly like to feel their emotions they particularly like to understand they tend to um, lean towards you know the, the logic side of things so right now i feel like they're having a hard time understanding um what they did or you know the pain they caused you or the hurt or the rejection um the emotional anguish and that emotional disappointment that is coming through in this spread so there's a lot that this person wants to say but the cloud symbolism in the page of swords and the three of swords he indicates that there's that uh, there's a lot of confusion here maybe they're struggling to find the right words which is quite ironic for an air sign because they are known to be quite uh you know uh, quite the uh natural wordsmiths so maybe they're just struggling to find the right words maybe you know there's just so much that they want to say to you here they want to apologize they want to explain themselves they want to um, you know they want to communicate with you they want to you know go back to the start i do um i do get a sense that there's there's a waiting i feel like this person here your ex is going to communicate with you in the future but to me it's almost like they're waiting for something they could possibly be waiting for the right time to do so for the right set of circumstances or maybe the two of you have decided to take a break maybe you've actually you know turned around and told them that you don't necessarily want to hear from them anytime soon because the star is it, the star indicates a healing process process so i feel like this person wants to heal the hurt or heal the pain now whether it's them that's wanting to heal the hurt and heal the pain or whether it's them wanting to uh, come in and apologize and hopefully you know have that heal a wound for you um, but or oh, maybe they just want to heal the overall situation i do get a sense of um, to me, I could get a sense of re renewal here, rejuvenation. So I feel like this person possibly wants to revisit this connection with you. And I feel like this person possibly might, they want to make amends. They want to extend, you know, an, apol um, an apology to you here. They want to, uh, they want a chance to explain themselves. They want, they want to, I feel like they want a fresh emotional start with you. And this is why they're being patient with you here. Um, maybe because I did this element of waiting, this theme of waiting is coming through, maybe because you, you know, you, you've actually turned around and you said to this person, um, maybe in the future, because to me, I get a sense of hope as well with the star. So I'm not sure if they're just being, um, very hopeful that one day the two of you will, um, you know, will come together and hopefully try and make this work. Um, uh, try and aim for a fresh emotional start here or I'm not sure if it's if it's them being hopeful but if there's a delusion there as well because it seems to me like that this person is waiting they're waiting they're waiting to reach out they're waiting to communicate with you there's a lot that they want to say um, but I feel like there's a lot of just confusion right now there's a lot of confusion I'm also seeing a lot of distraction around this person here I just feel like maybe they are distracted by their thoughts maybe they just have so much racing thoughts and they're not necessarily sure what to think of the whole situation here um, temperance does indicate balance here so balance and patience so I, I feel like this person wants to balance the scales of equilibrium I feel like they want to correct the situation and I feel like they're being very patient here. They're being very patient here. But I can see that, like it's a, the page of swords here, it brings in a nervous kind of energy. So yeah, they're waiting, but it's almost like, okay, you know, they want to know how long, how long the healing is going to take place or how long, you know, they have to wait until they reach out to you. It's like they're waiting, but they're in, 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 in anticipation as well here, Leo okay and there you have it so thank you for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to this channel by liking commenting or sharing i am going to be catching up with you guys uh, later in the week um, so stay tuned otherwise take care guys bye for now